All right, in this video, we're going to go over some modules. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is take you to my little site I'm using for a sample. And I'm going to show you that if you look here on the site, you've got that logo I put in, remember, or that was another video, but <laughs> I put that logo in there. Um, anyway, here are blocks. These are right here referred to blocks. So this is the cart block. This is the new products block. This is the specials block. This is the advertising block or our stores block. This is advertising over here. You know, and, and we've got information block and so on and so forth. Okay, so everything is thought of in blocks and each block is its own module. So if we come here to the back office, uh-oh, I lost it here. Let me pull that up. Okay, so if we come back here to the back office and we click on the modules tab, on this modules, we've got all these different sections here. Uh, a lot of the modules that you're going to use are going to be in the front office features down here. Okay, so now we've got top seller block. Now, if you notice over here next to the blocks, we've got green check marks and red X's. If they're green check marks, it means they're enabled. If they're red X's, it means they're disabled or uninstalled. Um, let's say this categories block is where my categories are. If I uncheck this or if I check that in, I get now my categories block and it's disabled. See how I got an enabled here? Now, if I go to the store and I hit my refresh button here, my categories disappeared. Okay, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to turn these back on. And now my, I'm enabled, so I refresh and my categories are back. Okay, now in the configure area, let's say I want to play with my categories a little on how they show up. I click the configure setting here, and I've got maximum depth. How far do I want these to go in subcategories? Okay, so I've got three here, which is plenty. Okay, I could only say one, and then it wouldn't have the little plus symbol next to it. Like this little plus symbol here, how it does that. If I clicked one, it wouldn't have that. It wouldn't do that feature. Okay. Um, and then I got dynamic, which means this is the dynamic part, how it moves up and down. Okay. So I could turn that off. Let's, let's try it. Watch. If I turn it to one like that, and I go ahead and, and save that. Now I do my refresh button here. As you notice, there is no dynamic, nothing. It, there's no plus sign, nothing like that. So. I like the dynamic stuff. I'd like to set that up and do the three back and, and get that set. So that's just a way that you can manipulate your system a little bit there. Um, I'm going to go back here to the modules. Um, so all these modules you have that you could do really cool stuff with. Um, cart block, CMS block, That was this is where uh, you could do like your informational pages are in here. Um, you know, uh, there's so many modules that you just got to go and just click configure to see what you can do. For instance, if you have a bunch of manufacturers, you could click on this and you can set it to be a drop down or a plain list text, have it be only show five manufacturers and then go to a drop down and you know, you could turn this off and just have a straight drop down. I mean, there's all kinds of cool options. <clears throat> um, another cool feature is uh, the featured products block. So if I go here, I mean, you see all these different things. Um, I'm looking for featured products. Where are we at here now? Oh, and that brings me to another one. Okay, here's the featured products block. So if I click configure, this is a cool one because on your home page you have so many of these, right? Well, these uh, products on your home page are the featured products. So I could say this one says zero, but because six is the uh, well, 10 is the default, but we only have six in there, so it's only showing six. But let's say I wanted to do 30 of them. I can up that number, and then I could have, you know, scrolling products all the way down my page to 30 of them if I wanted to. Okay? Um, so that's the featured products kind of cool setting there. You could play around in here a lot and, and just kind of figure stuff out. Another cool one that's pretty, that you need to know is right here, the home text editor. This is your home page pretty much. So if you click the configure, here's all this funny writing here, lorem ipsum stuff, uh, all this, you know, stuff, this picture. If you notice, it's all right here. Here's the picture. Here's my text. Here's all this stuff. So I could change any of this stuff out and it will change right here on my home page. So that's how you change your home page right there in the modules. Um, there's some other modules to look at. 
like advertising and marketing. This one right here is the block advertising. So if I come here and I here's the block guy, I click the configure. Here we go. I could change this image to my own, put a link, whatever I want to do. And uh, there's all kinds of other modules in here that you could turn. These are all turned off, but you know, you got Google AdSense, customer referral program, all these. And to tell you the truth, I haven't even installed all these. Some of them, like, I don't even know what this Critio is. And some of them might have a additional fee, like a service fee with it. Some of them might not. It all depends on what kind of service it is. Um, and then you've got, you know, billing and invoicing. I mean, this thing just, this store does so much stuff. You can do a birthday present, you know, thing. So really, you could get in here and kind of look at them and see. Now, one of the questions I have is, say somebody says, you know, what if I want my categories above tags and my tags under categories? Or what if I want to swap and I want my cart to be over here on the left column and I want to move my categories to the right column? Okay, or the other way around, move new products over here, viewed products, or move new products. You get the idea. So what you do for that is you come up here to the very top, and you've got under modules, you've got these modules and themes, my account, themes, and positions. Positions is what you're looking for. So here's the positions, and this is like the right column block. Okay, you see the cart, the new products, the top seller. Well, if we look at the side, we've got cart, new products, Top seller isn't in here because this, this is a new shop and it hasn't had any stuff. But if you look, you'll see specials right there, right? So let's say I wanted to drag uh, my specials above my cart. There we go. See how I did that? So I just put my mouse right here in the center and turned into a little cross. And I just grabbed it and, and left click. And I hold down my button and just drag it up here and let go. That's how easy it was. Now if I come over here and refresh, there's my specials on top. So that's how I can drag things in this little right column. And here's the left column. So as I was talking about, if I wanted to take this categories and put it above tags, here's my tags block. Here's my categories block. I would just grab it and pull it up there. There we go. As you can see, there we go. There's my categories on top. Now for swapping the two, let's say I wanted to put categories over here on the right side instead of the left. I would come over here and I would come up to the top and I would go to transplant a module. Okay. And then the module would be my block categories. So if I'm looking here, uh, block, I'm, where are we at? Categories. Categories block. Okay. There we go. Categories block. And I'm going to hook it into my right column. Okay. I click save. So now if I look at my modules here in my right column, I've got a categories down here now. And I've got one in my left column too still. Okay. So it didn't take it out of my left column. It just kind of copied it over to here. So let's say I wanted to move this up here above my cart. And now I want to go to the site and I want to refresh. Now I've got a categories on the right column and a categories on the left with a cart underneath. See? So I don't want this one over here anymore because I want it on this side. So I would come here and I would come down to my left column block and I would just delete this out of here. And that's how you move modules around. Now it's gone. Okay. So that is modules and how to move them around. Thank you very much for watching.